In this exercise we get a pass, a Unix pass, and we need on one hand give back the name of the file, on the other hand the full pass. So let's switch to an editor which already has a s beginning of the script and uh, a pass, yeah, just hard coded here. So what we need is um, probably, we are going to use a regular expression here, so we have to match something. But what is it? What is it that we are, we need to match? Um, so the file itself is uh, uh, is the last part of the uh, thing of the string that doesn't contain a slash. So it the thing that ends with the, st the string ends with this, and then there are characters which are not slash. So you can put in a uh, um, character class and negate the slash in the character class. Now we probably need to escape that slash, or maybe it's nicer to replace the external part, the delimiters of the regular expression, with something else. So now we have a character class that says some character that's not a slash, and we can get as many as we want. And all this which is going to be matched is the last part because it's, it has to be matched into the last part. So if we put the whole thing into parentheses, then here we can print out the value, let's say $1, and that should be the name of the file. So let's say uh, switch to another window and the, the script is called file base name. Perl file base name and it, indeed it printed out the name of the file so that's one thing and the other thing is uh, the rest of the string so the whole string up till the last slash so in this case we will need to say if pass equal to or matching uh, anything from the beginning and every character uh, lots of characters as many as you want and then a slash and that's it because this is greedy because Perl is greedy so the way it will the regular expression is greedy it will the dot star will match all the string all the way here and then it will st try to match the slash but it will have to backtrack up to the point where the dot star matches from the beginning till the e this e and the slash can match this slash so we'll have to put this whole thing in the parentheses and then you can decide if you want in to include the last slash or not Let's say we include it, and then we close the parentheses of the if, and here we print out dollar one again. And if it would be probably better to put the whole thing into a parentheses and put print out a new line as well, and then I can run the script and it will print out the name of the directory and the name of the file. Of course this is a nice exercise but in reality you wouldn't do that. You wouldn't write such uh, code. You would probably use file base name base name and then import uh, base name and the dear name functions and then you would print out print out the base name of the pass and the new line and print out the dear name of the pass hopefully writing correctly and then new line and if I run this again it prints out the same, well it's not exactly the same as I can see the dear name is actually removing the last the training slash so if we want to do the same with our code then here 
we'll have to move the slash outside of the capturing parentheses. It will still match the same thing, but now within the parentheses there is only the part that bef comes before the last slash, so that will uh, exclude that last slash in the printing.